A fully automated sample preparation system for analysis of metals is installed in the Elemental Analysis Group. The system is made up of an automated sample preparation unit coupled to an atomic emission spectrometer. Up to 350 samples can be processed in a single day. The system can also be left to work unsupervised through the night. The sample preparation step is open vessel digestion, which is suitable for organic samples. The process involves the following steps. The first step is to weigh the sample into a quartz bottle. These bottles are closed with Teflon caps and placed in the rack. At the start of the process, a three-axis robot arm removes the quartz bottles from the rack and transports them to what is called the pre-carousel. Two bottles are always processed simultaneously. Processing in the pre-carousel involves a number of steps. First of all, the caps are removed by a pneumatic lifting arm. The caps are placed on a rotary table in sequence to make sure they are used to close the same bottle after digestion is complete. The pre-carousel rotates and the sample bottles are placed on analytic balances. While the bottles are on the balances, dosing pumps add concentrated sulfuric acid. The weight gain indicated by the balances is used to check that the right amount of acid has been added. If there is too little sulfuric acid, or none at all, this might result in an explosive reaction between reactive organic components when oxidizing acids are added later. After the sulfuric acid has been added, the sample bottles are transported to the next position until they reach the point of transfer to the digestion carousel. Here, a second robot arm transfers the bottles to the digestion carousel. A hatch opens and the bottles rotate into the digestion carousel, where the samples are heated slowly. The heat source is IR heaters, which can heat the sample bottles very efficiently. The organic fraction of the samples is cracked by the reaction in the hot sulfuric acid. This process is carried out at consecutive positions and at increasing temperatures. Once this process is complete, the sample bottles reach the next part of the system. This is where the cracked samples are oxidized. The samples are oxidized using an acid combination with an extremely high oxidizing power. The solution is decoloring during this reaction. The loss of color shows that the sample no longer contains any organic carbon and is now fully mineralized. The solution produced is clear to pale yellow. The excessive acid now has to be removed. The highly corrosive vapors are exhausted straight from the bottle opening. IR heaters are used to heat up the whole bottle and ensure that this process is as fast as possible. The remaining constituents of the samples are dissolved by adding diluted acid. The solution is heated once more to make sure that no undissolved components remain. When the sample bottles have returned to the point of transition between the digestion carousel and pre-carousel, the robot arm puts them back on the pre-carousel. The solutions are then cooled down by blowing air from outside onto the hot bottles. In the next position, purified compressed air is blown into the solution through nozzles. This cools the solution further and helps to homogenize it. After homogenization, light transmission is measured to check whether there are any undissolved components remaining in the solution. If there are, the sample is recorded and segregated out.
In the final position on the pre-carousel, the sample bottles are put back on the balances and the total weight is determined. A precision pump removes a defined volume from the liquid. This allows the density of the solution to be determined. Sample preparation is now complete. The Teflon caps are replaced on the bottles and they are taken to the rack. These solutions are ready for analysis of the metal concentrations. The ICP OES system can only accept one sample at a time. So unlike in the sample preparation phase, parallel processing is not feasible. The bottle is placed on a turret device and sampling takes place. For better visibility, the solution is dyed red. A small portion of the liquid is transferred to the spectrometer through a peristaltic pump, which you can see here on the lower right-hand side of the system. A valve allows the user to switch rapidly between the digestion solution and cleaning solution. This shortens the measuring times considerably. Just as importantly, it minimizes sample consumption. The aspirated solution then enters a pneumatic nebulizer. A sample aerosol is generated here, which enters the emission source of the measuring system via a Teflon tube. The light source is a plasma in which the solution is vaporized, atomized, and excited to emit radiation. The radiation is separated by wavelength and order in an optical system. The measured wavelength is characteristic for the metal, and the quantity of light determines the concentration in the solution. All the data obtained is recorded and processed by the central data processing system. A staff member checks the quality of the results on the PC. After measurement, the bottle is returned to the rack and the robot arm puts the next bottle into position for measurement. When the process is complete, the remaining solutions are ready for further tests. During day-to-day -day operations, the digestion carousel in particular tends to become soiled. The soiling matter has to be removed on a regular basis. The cleaning procedure is automated too. Highly purified water is injected into the segments through special glass nozzles. The soiling matter is rinsed off and drains away and the automatic analyzer is ready for use once again.